for for being here. It's really uh, uh, it's really a privilege to be back here in Crystal City this time without any fences around me. Now I was here in uh, 2002 when they, we celebrated the 60th anniversary of the opening of uh, Crystal City, Texas, and uh, along with the Japanese that were some Japanese that were in turn with us and. Uh, and it was an honor to be allowed to participate in your spinach festival and the spinach uh, parade. And uh, it's, it's an honor to, to, tonight to have uh, the village uh, or, the, or the city uh, uh, general, general man city manager, right, is, is your title. And it's a, it's a privilege uh, that, that you're here to, to hear this. But this is a... This is a very special day. December the 7th, 1941, changed the life of everybody. Not just the people here in the room. It changed everybody, the life of everybody in the, in the entire world. Because from that point on, the United States became not just a, a great nation, but it became a world power. And today it, we're to, it's in the position of being really the only great power uh, in, in the world, uh, which also then means that the United States should be setting an example for everything. Um, I, my, I came here when I was 18 years old in, uh, in the Crystal City, Texas, and I left here when I was uh, 22. So I, I was at the very important stage of my life while I, while I lived here. Uh, I, I can say uh, in, in all honesty and, and, uh, that the Japanese plaque that called it a concentration camp is totally wrong because it was not a uh, concentration camp. It was an internment camp. Uh, we were treated uh, humanely. Our medical care was very good uh, under the uh, auspices of the United States Public Health Service, and uh, particularly Dr. Uh, Martin, who was the, 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 the head doctor. They performed operations there. They did any kind of medical procedure. And if they couldn't do it, perform it, they were, they, they were sent elsewhere. So our food was, uh, wasn't gourmet food. It was adequate. And of course, we had the same ration restrictions on sugar and things like that that everybody else did. Um, we have, we're, the food was supplied to, via a company store, which was run by the, uh, the inmates. Inmates, well, like myself, would be paid 10 cents an hour for any j work that was done in maintaining or running the, the facility. And then the, the object, objective of the Immigration and Natural Service was that we would be kind of a self-contained village within a fence. Um, we did have a company farm, and uh, and most of the farm farm produce was uh, a lot of it was produced there. But we a lot of other stuff came from outside of of the area, and and I'm sure that some of you know people had worked in the. Uh, facility or were uh, uh, part of the guard services or whatever have you in, in, in uh, Crystal City, Texas. But how did it all start? And uh, I was born in Germany in 1925, so I'm 83 years old right now. And uh, at the age of three, I was brought here to the United States uh, to Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, my father was a baker. He never had his own bakery, but he worked for, for others. And uh, later on, uh, when I got this Freedom of Information packet from the government, uh, I found out he never made more than $35 a week.